At the county's vector control labs, Chris Conlon is getting a closer look at one of the many bugs that pass through this office daily. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually checking to see what species they are, what sex they are. In this case, uh, Pacific Coast tick, uh, and the diseases that are most associated with that one would be tularemia. Ticks, a vector, meaning that they can pass a disease on to humans. But they don't show up on the lab's front doorstep for testing. They have to be caught first, and that's a big part of the work that goes on in San Diego County's vector control program. The main way we collect ticks is, is a process called flagging. Essentially, it's a large piece of cloth that's tacked onto a stick. That's dragged along uh, on trails uh, on the lower vegetation and grass. Uh, and you stop every 10 or 20 feet and you look at that flag to see if any ticks have grabbed on. It's a female. Once collected, a test can determine if they're carrying tularemia, a fever-inducing bacterial infection. But ticks aren't the only disease-carrying vector out there. Thankfully, the list is short, but it keeps the field workers very busy. We also test squirrels for the presence of plague, uh, because we still have uh, plague in some of the upper mountain areas, around some of those campground areas. The staff will pick a spot. They'll put a, a live trap out. Staff will then go back and get that squirrel. They will anesthetize it. It only takes a couple minutes, and the squirrel goes to sleep. Um, and at the same time, it also puts the fleas to sleep. So when the squirrel comes out of the bag, the first thing they do is they take a white tray and then they take a small comb and they comb the fleas off the squirrel in, into that white tray. Um, and they're quickly gathered up and put in a vial of alcohol so they can be brought back to the lab and identified. The technicians also take a small blood sample from the squirrel itself, which can be tested for evidence of plague infection. But after that, the groggy squirrel will wake from slumber and scamper off. We also are out in the field testing certain types of rodents. Um, we test wild mice for the presence of hantavirus, and that's done countywide all year. Mice are nocturnal in habit, and they come out at night, so therefore the traps have to be put out late in the day. We're only really looking for certain types of deer mice to do, to do the, the hanta testing, because other, other species of mice don't carry hantavirus, so we're really not interested in testing those. In this case, the blood is collected in small vials, at which point it's brought in, and then it's given to the veterinarian for, for testing. Then, of course, there is the poster bug for vector diseases, the mosquito. The most uh, prevalent disease in the county right now, mosquito-borne-wise, is, is West Nile virus. Uh, so all mosquitoes are tested for that. They're also tested for Western equine encephalitis and St. Louis encephalitis, both of which are very closely related to, to West Nile virus, so the, the testing methodology is very similar. As far as trapping mosquitoes go, there's two types of traps that are commonly used in the county. The most common trap is called a CO2 trap. Um, basically use it because it uses dry ice as the attractant. When animals breathe, they give off a higher concentration of carbon dioxide. So we use that carbon dioxide to, to bring them in, capture them in a trap, and it's a really good way to, to collect a good, broad sample of what's out there. However, there still is one or two species of mosquitoes that aren't as heavily attracted to that trap as we would like. So we have a different type of trap called a gravid trap. And instead of going after hungry mosquitoes that are tracking a victim, this trap uses stagnant water as the attractant, which is actually looking for females that are looking for a place to lay their eggs. Um, and what this does for us is it, it tends to attract more specifically southern house mosquito, which is a potential vector for West Nile virus. So it gives us a better indication in some, in some cases of whether there's any virus around the area. The mosquitoes, along with all the other samples belonging to the ticks, mice, squirrels and their fleas, are now ready to be taken back to the lab. This is where they'll test to see whether or not there's something we need to worry about. With those results, the group can implement tactics of control and awareness. But none of that would be possible without this skilled group of vector collectors.